As we enter the third year of this pandemic, new variants have created many wrinkles to getting back to that new normal, especially for employers. And as new guidelines emerge and new information becomes available about this virus, many employers are working with professionals to help steer their businesses and keep everything on track. Enter the Chief Medical Officer. A chief medical officer organizes the health care to maximize health outcomes for all of the employees and their families that work for a particular organization. We put together a roadmap for how organizations can think about getting back to work, getting back to events, and certainly to help garner trust for our people so that they understand health and safety is a priority, so much so that a role like mine is at the table. But it's truly about leading digital transformation with healthcare, business, and technology at the intersection. And I think we're seeing that across the industry, we're seeing that healthcare is now everyone's business. So this is everyone's first pandemic, right? Myself included. And I think that we all are challenged by the environment, the dynamics of it. Everything is constantly changing. There is no real sense of stability. Staying on top of a very dynamic science that continues to evolve. And how do you pivot? How do you pivot your business? How do you pivot clinically? While some companies have the resources to provide things like masks and testing to all employees, smaller employers may not always be able to afford these same safety measures. No matter how small or big the organization is, it's relying on the resources that you do have internally, bringing on consultants should you need to. Making sure they understand their benefits, where they can access the healthcare system, make sure they understand the communicable nature of the variant, as well as the types of treatments that are emerging that are now available and FDA approved right here in the U.S. These days, I think a lot of people are asking themselves, what happens if the vaccines stop working? We've sort of seen already with Omicron that vaccines are not 100% effective. In fact, they've never been 100% effective at preventing a COVID-19 infection, and it's actually getting worse. So what do companies do? What do businesses do when so many of their workers end up being sick or out of work because of COVID-19? Most employers today are not ready for that scenario because of the infectious nature and mortality nature that may be tied to these new variants that could pop up on the scene. And therefore there may need to be protocols that would forbid, that, that are so conservative that it would actually forbid employees from being able to return back to work. So I think a lot of employers would have to default to keeping their employees at home. But I think the companies that really embrace business, healthcare, and technology understand that they need to not let their guard down, lead with the science, lead with health and safety and trust, are going to emerge the leaders of this pandemic. And, and also understanding that prevention is truly worth a pound and cure. So the things that we can do now foundationally to help support our communities, to help support our, our healthcare system and infrastructure are gonna make us that much more ready should a variant come out and blindside us.